Dan with Sharpening Supplies here, and today we're going to talk about the various sharpening jigs for the Tormex system. The SE77 Square Edge jig does chisels and hand plane blades up to 3 inches wide. Keep the tool edge against the clamp shoulder. 2 to 3 inches should extend beyond the clamp. Tighten the knobs evenly. Use the marker method or the WM200 Angle Master to set the desired angle. Move side to side covering the entire surface of the grinding wheel. The KJ45 Knife Jig will handle the majority of kitchen knives, outdoor, hunting, pocket knives. Insert the knife into the clamp. The distance from the clamp to the knife edge is the same on both sides of the clamp. Tighten the screws to hold the knife firmly. Use the marker method or the WM200 Angle Master to set the desired angle. Move the knife across the wheel, lift the handle to follow the curve of the blade. The KJ140 Long Knife Jig handles knives with especially long or flexible blades. Insert the knife into the jig. The distance between the jig and the edge of the knife should be the same on both sides. Use the marker method or the WM200 Angle Master to set the desired angle. Move side to side across the wheel, lift the handle to follow the curve of the blade. The SVM00 Short Knife Jig works in conjunction with the KJ45 to hold very small blades. Insert your knife into the jig and lock in place. Ensure that the knife is in line with the support bar. Insert the support bar into the jaws of the KJ45 knife clamp and secure. Use the marker method or the WM200 Angle Master to set your desired angle. Sharpen on the grinding wheel. The SVX150 Scissors Jig will handle household sewing and crafting scissors. Insert the scissors into the jig and tighten securely in place with the knobs. Mount the tool rest on the universal support. Using a marker or the WM200 Angle Master, set the desired angle. Place the scissors on the tool rest and move across the sharpening stone. The SVS38 short tool jig is for carving gouges and V-tools. Insert the tool into the jig with about 1 to 3 inches of blade extending beyond the jig. Use the marker method or the WM200 Angle Master to set the desired angle. Move the tool across the wheel while rotating the jig to sharpen the edge evenly. The SVA170 axe jig is good for axes and hatchets. The axe jig cradles the axe or hatchet. Use the marker method or the WM200 to set the desired angle. Move the blade evenly across the wheel. The SVD-186R will put compound curvatures on wood turning gouges. Insert the gouge into the jig. Use the TTS-100 turning tool setter to set the protrusion. Then use the TTS-100 to set the proper distance of the universal support from the wheel.
Move side to side across the wheel as you rotate the jig to achieve the desired geometry. The SVS50 Multi Jig is for wood turning roughing gouges, parting tools, and skews. For skews, set the jig to the desired skew angle. This skew is marked with a Tormek profile label set showing the proper settings. Use the TTS100 turning tool setter to set the protrusion. For roughing gouges, use the marker method or the WM200 Ankle Master to set the desired angle. And move across the stone, rotating the jig to achieve the desired edge. The DBS22 drill bit attachment will handle drill bits from 1 8 to 7 8 inch diameter. Mount the drill bit with the protrusion stop on the guide. Ensure that the cutting edges are parallel to the horizontal lines on the drill holder. Mount the base plate and guide on the universal support. Use the setting template to set the angle. Set the bit holder on the guide and grind according to the instructions. The SVD 110 tool rest is great for wood turning scrapers and tools that don't fit in any of the other jigs. Slide the tool rest onto the universal support. Use the WM200 Angle Master to set the desired angle. Which one of these Tormac jigs is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. For all these and more, visit us at sharpeningsupplies.com.